Okay, and then the final example, we're going to find the values of x and y. So I have two tangent circles, okay, two circles that are tangent, they meet at one point. That means this line is a tangent also. Here's a secant segment, a secant segment, okay. Now, if I look at this circle, this secant, and this tangent, I know I can use that theorem that says whole thing times outside equals whole thing times outside, but I have two variables. X and Y are both from this circle, from this the segments of this circle. So let's look at the other circle. Here, I have a secant and I have a tangent. Now, whole thing times outside equals whole thing times outside. So since I only have one variable, I can go ahead and solve using these segments. Okay, so I'm going to solve for y first. Then, so that means the whole thing is 18, right? 10 plus 8. That's 18 times outside is 10 equal to y squared. Okay, guys, it's, that's the whole segment is y, and then the outside segment is y, so that's y squared. This is 180 equal to y squared. So y then is going to be square root of 180. Now I can simplify that out, but I want to leave it for now because I'm just thinking of, um, I know I'm going to have to use this value to find x, and I have a feeling that I'm going to have to square this back anyways. So just leave it like that for now, and then we can simplify it in a second, okay? So here, to find x, it's going to be whole thing times outside, that's y squared, so that's, we know y is square root of 180 times square root of 180 equal to 9 plus x, that's the whole thing, times 9. So here we're going to get, this is 180 equals 81 plus 9x. Subtract the 81. I'm going to get 99 equals 9x. Then divide the 9. x is going to be 11. Okay. Now back to y. Um, we can either simplify that or we can just use our calculator and um, find the decimal for it because we know that 180 is not a perfect square. So how do we simplify radical of 180? Um, the easiest way to factor out a radical is to do a factor tree. So let's see. We know that 18 times 10 is 180. This is 9 times 2. This is 5 times 2. When you have a prime number, circle it. Here we have 3 times 3. Okay, so then all our numbers are circled. Then, whenever you have a pair, okay, whenever you have two of the same number, you're going to write that on the outside. So that's going to come outside. So it's going to be 3, and then we have also a 2, right? So you're going to multiply those two numbers together. And then what's not crossed out? The 5. That means that has to stay inside because the only time it can come out of this um, radical is when you have when it has two of the same numbers, right? If it's 3 squared, then a 3 will come out. This is 2 squared, so a 2 came out. So this will be 6 square root of 5 is y. Okay? Or, again, you can just use your calculator and just find the decimal of that. Okay? So there's y and there's x, and that is it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Educator.com.